Have you ever thought how ships float in the sea or oceans? Well, because when they are in the water, as well as the gravitational force, they experience another force, which is called buoyant force. This is an upward force of a fluid on an object and equal to the weight of the fluid that the object displaces. This was discovered by Archimedes back in the 3rd century BC. While taking a bath, he suddenly noticed that the water in the bathtub overflowed. Then he realized that the amount of displaced water depended on how much of his body immersed. Archimedes' Principle The buoyant force is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by an object. And it is important to remember that this principle is about both liquids and gases. Let's have an experiment. If we put a potato into a full glass of water, it will sink and cause the water to overflow. So, if we collect the spilled water, we will see that the water has the same volume as the submerged object. As a result, by calculating the buoyant force of water, we can find the weight of submerged object. In order to do this, we use the formula of buoyant force. But do not forget that the density and the volume here refer to the water, not to the object. And these are the result of Archimedes' principle, those show the conditions in which object will float, will be in equilibrium or will sink.